Hello and welcome back to Disco Elysium. We are in the Church of Silence and well we have to go and talk to the people running the nightclub to tell them what she thinks of their nightclub idea. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. At least the crab man likes it. Not that we'll see him again as he appears to have disappeared into the um, went to the top of the building somewhere. But yeah, after that I think we need to go and talk to Joyce. So we'll definitely try and do some of these things then. Right, so, back into the ravers, because they are on the way. But I think we really need to speak to Joyce before the end of the day. Uh, we can also retry the lorry driver check again for Half-Life, so that might be worth doing. Hello. Hi again. So, uh, how are things going? He looks excited. The tips of his hair are sharp and white. The bleach has consumed all of the toothbrush on the mirror in front of him. Oh, because I've got more of this, I can try logic again. Suna said something's amiss, unexplained and knows a fed. Headphones were sold, convinced you're a smart cop, narcomania is the plague. Have I lowered my logic somewhere? Must have lowered my logic. Let's leave. It says goodbye, officer. That's fine. Do I have something that can gain logic here? Hmm. Or I just had a really low chance last time, which is also possible. Uh, none of this is giving me logic, unfortunately for me. Okay, the Triaders would give plus one to Kingdom of uh, Conscience. Or Conscience. Alright, so what does that give us? That would give us lo learning cap for logic raised, but I don't think having that on double is going to actually do anything. In fact, we can check that. Logic is four. If I stick on these Triaders, right? What does our logic go to? Our logic once again goes... Well, wait, no, that goes up to... S wait a second. Let's take these off. We'll swap these back on. Uh, okay, so put on our Half-Life pants. Yeah, so absolutely nothing's changed about logic. I thought maybe we got next one of those, but no, nothing's changed. Okay, so we might as well not Hi, do again. that right now. So, uh, how are things going? Uh, about the church, I checked it out. And, he turns us up, what happened? Um, I talked to the crab man. Oh man, who is he? What, what did you think? Um, well, let's see. He seemed okay, to be honest. Very spiritual. Really? Uh, uh interesting. Uh, what's he doing in the church? Um, well, just preaching and praying from the looks of it. No matter, the paranoid young man mumbles gruffly. Is he going to be a problem? Yeah, Noid is right. Let's get back to the point. What are we going to do about him? These guys will never catch him. You will never catch him. There's nothing to do. Um. Well. Um. Actually, he told me he wouldn't mind the nightclub at all. Oh, I don't know, man. It just doesn't feel like a major hindrance to you. He rubs his jaw. A spooky guy climbing around when all the guests are trying to have a nice, friendly hyper time. Um, you just gonna have to live with the crab man. I guess it's not a massive problem now that I think of it. Everybody is welcome to dance to the morning light. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah. I guess we'll figure something out. Okay. What about the other spooker, the one in the grandma's clothes? Did you see her? Um, yeah. I was using the mainframe when Suna, the um, the former lead programmer of Fortress Accident, appeared. A programmer. That's odd. What was she like? Did you ask her about the nightclub? Um, she said you haven't been completely honest with me about your plans. Oh, come on, man. Who will you trust? A spooky programmer or us? We just want to make the world a better place. Feel the love. Get down and feel it. The stuffy tent muffles the last two words. The command fails to impress. Um, okay. Maybe I'm kind of feeling it. You'll get there, believe me, when we've got our gear set up. Things will be flowing and pumping. Anyway, now that it's settled, how did she seem? I mean, disposition-wise, about the dance club idea. J'ad oder nien, rocking it or dropping it. She did not like the anodic dance club idea. What a pity. That's my favourite thing in the world. He drops a hammer back into the toolbox, and she doesn't like it at all. A shame. He sighs. What can we do now? Do you see a way out of this jam and into a laser-lit future of dance and unity? 
Unity, dance. I mean, it's very clear she won't leave until her own project is finished. And you can't just evict her. Uh, no, I won't evict her. We have to come up with a different solution. Look at you, honor man. No, no, he's right. Maybe we've approached it in the wrong way after all. I'm not. Sh I'm sure there's a workaround. We could deal not to bother her. If that's okay with her, we only want to get into church and spread the joy and ecstasy of music. The lines in the dark exist, coexist. At least the crab man seems like an advanced being. He's hard. You'll understand. Yeah, and he can do climbing thing in the tower. And the programmer, does she like an anodic dance music? Well, she absolutely does not. Really, truly despises it. Egghead cannot believe what you just said. It makes him pump the jam a little slower for a moment, but then he returns to the full swing of it. Uh, no worries, we'll figure it out. Man nods enthusiastically and leans in and whispers. If coexisting fails, you can always muscle her out, right? If, it's, if it, it is okay with you, what do you think? Um, well, I refuse to throw her out, but I can try convincing her. He smiles wide like a replica of his friend with a large head. Excellent, good work, my friend. Okay, so that's just go and do that, that's fine. So, we're 8% now. That's not bad. Not good, but... Mm. Well, here's the thing, we might get another logic before we Hi get again. there. So, uh, how are things going? Let's try it. Ooh, nothing jumps out of you, nothing out of the ordinary. But Suna said they haven't been honest with me. Haven't they? Or maybe it's because the programmer itself has been lying to you. Um, how about you get out and breathe? The air in the tent is too thick for you to think clearly. Let's have some more health and leave. Right, well, we didn't get very far there. Uh, that's alright. What, what time is it? Is it like 6 o'clock yet? Or are we still at like half 5? Oh, we're at 12 minutes past 5. We're plenty good. Hey, what's up? Um, tell me more about this music place you've been planning for the church. It's supposed to be like a club for anodic dance music. Like that new style of synthesizer stuff they play at the Palasium. Except that, yeah. She looks at the old wooden church on the poles as a mean wind comes bellowing in. The six-story structure lets out a doleful shriek. What is anodic dance music? Oh, secret task, nice. You know, anodic, cathodic, music that's made with electronic instruments. Like what? Synthesizers and tape controls, microcomputers too. Anything that uses electricity but isn't guitars. Also found sounds, stuff like that. You see clear, beautiful, violent flashes of light. Light cutting through a smoke-filled darkness. That is what the future will look like if it ever comes. Enough about the church, then add another question. No, that's it, pretty much. Uh, good to know. Right, so we can go back in and speak to her again. Um, I know that we're getting these lit up, but I don't think there is anything new. I mean, there was always our ledger. Maybe that's what it's complaining about, because our, uh, like, our ledger full of notes. We didn't read every case, I don't think, so maybe that's why it's lit up. That could be it. I could believe it. Hey, Suna. Yes, what is it? Um... What if you didn't have to leave? I talked to Andre and he wants to make it work. I don't want to make anything work. She replies, her expression unchanged. Hold on, you don't want to make anything work? Yes, anything. I don't want to make anything work. That's not the anodic dance mu it's not the anodic dance music that's made her bitter, it's the failure of Fortress Accident. Are you bitter because your radio game project failed? That's right. Something strange shines in her eyes. If we couldn't get our Wilkins to happen, I don't want anything to happen ever again. There's not a trace of irony in her voice. She means it. I could just convince her to cooperate. Now, do I have... I'm, I'm going to leave now. But I'm fairly certain that I have a suggestion I'm not wearing. So that's why I wanted to stop for a second and see... See, we've got this naval coat. Which gives us plus one. So definitely going to wear that naval coat for this. Because that... We were already at like 90%. I just want to check that we're good. Right. Let's try that. Hey, what's up? Yes. 
What is it? 97%. So this is literally as high as we can get, I think, because um, there's a 3% chance no matter what to, f uh, to pass. So it must be a 3% chance no matter what to fail. So let's try it. Easy. When her research is done, she can move out. Listen, about your research, you mentioned earlier that it's not going very well. Maybe I can help with something. What? She looks up from her work, disorientated. No, I really don't need any help with the project. But if I could help you finish the project, then you wouldn't have to live in a church next to the Boom Boom anymore. Just think about it. She thinks about it. At last, they look in her eyes. A gust of wind brings more snow in from the broken gallery. It touches her hair. All right. She fi finally says, blinking twice. Bring me the game's off-site copy from my old workspace if you really want to help. It's stored on a filament memory and I'm unable to go and fetch it. Um, by your old workspace, do you mean the studio of Fortress Accident on the, in the doomed commercial area? Yes, that's the one. You can get in through the bookshop. You just have to do some explaining to the bookstore uh, lady. Uh, I've already been in there, actually. Good. Uh, then you might know the giant ice bear fridge in the building cellar. The filament is inside the fridge. Just go ahead and get it. Wait, did I ever get the body picked up? No, I should do that. <laughs> Yeah, that's one thing to forget about, isn't it? And where exactly is the off-site copy? In the giant ice bear fridge, I just told you, as the glowing red eyes, it's impossible to miss. So you just need to get the off-site copy from the ice bear. But you've been to the fridge and it wasn't there. There was a note saying... Um, I found a note from the ice bear fridge. It said that the off-site copy had been moved to a safer place. She freezes. Wait, a note from whom? Did it specify where they took the filament memory? It said the off-site copy had been taken to uh, a nearby ice cream maker. The note was signed by someone named uh, Zulislav. So, Wisa, of course. She relaxes. Our project leader, uh, Zulis, um, Zulislav Zawiza. Oh, God, he was so hell-bent on keeping the copy somewhere safe. And feature creep, she mutters. And the Valley of the Heads. Like it would have made a difference in the off-site copy. It was perfectly safe when the data loss happened. Data loss was a not a non -melous. Ah, she crosses her arms defiantly. And the heads, I won't even get into the heads, millions of them. She stops. Go find that copy from the ice cream maker, will you? Thanks. Valley of a thousand heads? You like the sound of that. Um, yeah, I found the ice cream maker, but I couldn't get it open. It's completely frozen. This is getting ridiculous. Can't you just defrost it? Or I don't know. Something about this. We can just figure it out. There's a solution, but she doesn't want to hand it over to you yet. It's a thing. Something she holds dear. By the way, you put a dead body in that fridge. Wait, what? She looks up alarmed. Who's dead body? You know, we don't actually have to tell the entire world about the fridge. Lieutenant says, looking at you. Whose body is it? She demands. Uh, again, staring at you. Uh, first at you, then back at the lieutenant. Uh, it's the body of, a hang of the hanged man. And what is it doing in the fridge? It's almost as if she feels some sort of ownership over the fridge. Don't worry, I put it there temporarily. It's all part of an official police investigation. You put it there. She leans back, massaging her eyelids. You put a dead body in the ice bear fridge. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know. Okay, she says, pressing fingers into her eyebrow ridge. Very cool. Thank you for keeping me in the loop. We would appreciate if you kept this knowledge to yourself, miss. Who would I tell? My mother? She shakes her frizzy head. I don't have anyone to tell, and if I did, I wouldn't. I don't care. Why can't you go and get the filament yourself? The bookstore lady hates me. Says I'm part of the curse, whatever that means. Um, why do you think you're part of the curse? Because she's from Martinez, and the people of Martinez have never seen a radio computer she thinks it emits element evil. That's a bit biased, don't you think? No. She stares at you with droopy eyes. She literally started praying for the higher powers when she first saw me, my Rem Civic. I'm not making this up. The lieutenant coughs like he's amused. Once I came in one morning, only to find that my terminal was full of these strange trinkets and amulets. Wards looked like some seminine magic. Uh, what's the offsite ca copy and why do you need it? It's a backup of my former employee's project. The radio game we're working on is stored on a filament memory, just like the one inside this radio computer. 
He points to the glowing cube inside the machine. She's making it extra simple for you. The backup itself is now destroyed. I'm hoping to use what's left of it to pinpoint the exact location of the anomaly. You just have to go to my old workspace and get the filament. Alright, I'll go look for the offset copy. Thanks. She thinks for a moment and reaches behind the radio computer and hands you what looks like an oversized pry bar. Yes, that's what we needed. Here's my Kvalsund multi-tool. You might need it to hack loose some ice. It opens everything. If you can get me the offset copy, then you can keep the Kvalsund. It hurts a, b uh, a bit for her to say this. She's not too happy to be parting with the Kvalsund. The legendary Kvalsund multi-tool. This is a pry bar version 2.0 for professionals. Like you. Uh, right, see ya. Well, that's amazing, because now I have the multi-tool. Uh, okay, I'll keep it on me for just now. I'm not going to replace what I'm holding. And now we have another thing. And we have a reason to go back to the body, which is definitely useful because I completely forgot. And, you know, that would have been embarrassing if we'd gone another day without processing the body. I suspect the game might have started a bit getting snarky. Right. Let's head out. Uh, this way? Now we just need to remember the way back. And that is a problem all in of itself. Okay, so down here. Past the little shacks. Past the twins. Oh, we can also go see the person who told us about the hands and see whether she has another clue. Excuse me? There's something in there. Go get it. Yes, that is mine now. Perfect. But yeah, the person who told us about the hands, we can go and see and see if she has another clue for us about where the next one is. Next piece of armor. She might not, but that's fine. Oh, yep, yeah, that's embarrassing. Ooh. Uh, great news. The boat is big enough for a grown man like you to fit underneath in a supine position. Um, wait, why would I want... What would I be doing under there? I don't know, sleeping? What do people do under boats? This is merely a measurement from your visual cortex. Do with it what you want. Great news. I found somewhere new to sleep. Huh? It said great new news. I found somewhere to sleep. Pointing at the boat. Under this boat here. It'll be free. Sargastic self-pity is not what we need at the moment, officer. I understand the situation looks grim, but we must continue with our investigation. You have a home somewhere. All cops do. When this is done, you can return. Have I been in the shack? I might have. Let's just have a little... A little nose, just in case I haven't been in here. I mean, who knows when we'll be back this way. I mean, we'll be back this way in about 10 seconds, but, you know. By 10 seconds, I mean probably a whole day. But, you know. We'll be back here soon-ish. Maybe. Possibly. We'll see. Uh, But anyway, we're heading this way. It's actually not that far away because... Wait, where's the crossing? Well, so what's this? Yeah, what's that? Go get it. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, it's not that far away because we went windy all the way along there. Wait, is there more over here? No, there's not. That's fine. I thought there was a whole area I hadn't explored, but no, I think I did that exact same thing last time I saw it. Okay. Nothing new on the way. Pawn shop. We could probably get rid of some stuff. I think we've already paid for a room for the night. What's this? A sewer grate. A gateway to the river of filth. Okay. Uh, yeah, we think we've already paid for a room, so we're good there. Let's, um, let's deal with the body first. You know what? That's probably step number one is deal with the body, I think. That makes a lot of sense. Although, what's funny is if we had enough physical instrument, we probably could have opened that earlier. What's down here? Completely missed this. Uh, a cellar window, people's feet shuffling uh, by on the street. Now, let's put this out for a second. Check that we're good. We're good. Okay. Uh, take that back out. Replace with new pry... Uh, Pry bar? Yep. You know what? Let's do off the body first or I'll forget it's there.
Um, bag him. Take him away, Kim. The lieutenant take the body away without further examination. If you think so, officer. He nods. I am not going to object. Um, I need a little help for carrying him to the holding pen of my kinema. I'll take it from there. What should I do in the meantime? Continue working here. The locals, the case, or attend to your own business. I'll meet you at the downstairs of the Whirling and Rags tomorrow morning at 7.30 sharp. This means Lieutenant Kurosagi will leave the party until tomorrow morning. You're free to do side tasks and even the main case, though it might be more difficult. If you have nothing to do, read books or sit on a bench in the plaza. Oh, okay. They're dragging the corpse to the motor carriage. Oh. Okay. Interesting. I don't really want to do much without Kim. So what I might do is just retrieve the last of what I'm getting here and then, uh... I don't know. Yeah, retrieve the last of the stuff from the ice cream maker and then we might call it a day. Although maybe I'll go speak to the racist um, lorry driver. Maybe he'll be nicer to me. We'll see. Let's try this. Ooh, we're still not very good at this. Okay. Well, that's fine. Oh, is that just telling us... Oh, we, we've got a physical instrument with Egghead that we can try. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's the... Oh, so that's the one that keeps lighting up, is this thing. Okay, that's fine. So, I don't really want to increase my physical instrument, and we can't really get it that much higher. Is there anything else I could do to increase my physical instrument? Um... Authority. Physical instrument. The shirt. Alright. Let's try that. That lowers my drama, but gives me physical instrument and shivers. Lowers my authority, too. Um... White tank top would also give me physical instrument, but that's fine. It's in the same slot. Let's, let's see what my chances are now, and then decide whether I want to do it. 42%. See, we can get better than that. Do we have anything that lowers my physical instrument? No, not exactly. Uh, I still miss my old hat. Um, okay, let's go get some beer. Also, that'll mean that we can get rid of the bag as well. Uh, yes, it's odd that we can't get through that. Maybe I should get some beer. Try it without the beer, drink the beer, and then try it again. I think I'm allowed to do that. Hmm. Might speak to this guy on the way past. Do you have stuff that raises our half... Uh, it's a half-life for him. Because we could do the beer with him as well. Um, We might already be wearing it. I think we are. Okay, let's try it. Hey, what's up? Looking for something? Because of Kim's bluff, I have an even chance here. Let's try it. Heck, success. Men like this respect only two things. Fear and... St uh, strength and fear. Time to turn up the volume. Show me her lorry right fucking now. The lady driver's lorry. Where is it? Fuck you. I told you I'm not going. There, his voice grows smaller as yours. Um. Well, let's see. Which one are we going to be doing here? Um, I've been to your fucking lorry. I know where it is. I'm going to burn it down. You hear me? Look, fuck you, man. He tries to wave you off. It's some lorry down there. A green banged up thing. I don't know who she is. When did she go away? I don't know. I don't even know her name. She just rolls with the fleet and acts like a big shot. Some dyke, probably. I don't I haven't seen her for days. Where exactly is her lorry? That's the monument down there. The green tempo. Now leave me the fuck alone, okay? Hey, that worked. I'm surprised. Okay. Good. Is it snowing? Did I just see snow? It's not the right time of year for snow. Well, I don't know where we are, so it might be the right time of year. Sort my bottles. Nice. Hey, what's up? Uh, I'd like to buy some beer. Um, is this about the questions again? Because I don't really know anything. No, I just forgot how to buy beer. Um, so like here? Wall of Vices? Yeah, that's it. Um, give me... Yeah, give me the potent Pilsner. 
Yeah, that's fine. I almost want to get her to give me two, but you know what? One will do. That's fine. Open that up again. Uh, and now we can go try another 42% check. And then if it fails, we can drink the beer and try again. I think. So let's try it. I believe that's right. I could be wrong though. But it's a good way to test again. The more times I test it, it'll, it'll confirm in my head whether it's right or wrong. Out of that, I'll just constantly buy alcohol. It's a win-win either way, to be honest with you. Right, let's try it. In we go. I see, you know what? Quick save. I don't know why, but you know, let's quick save it. There we go. Crack open the lid. Ice squeaks beneath your Kvalsund uh, multi-tool, but your fingers slip away from the tool. The Li lid shut as tightly as before. And it's already unplugged. There's not much else to do other than wait for it to defrost or bulk up and get stronger. Well, you see... You see... I can bulk up. Yep, physique raised. Damage my morale, but who cares? Still locked, huh? Okay, I am actually going to reload, because now we've learned. And by reloading, we will learn better. Maybe. I don't know. Let's try this. So. Instead of doing what I did, I'm instead going to bring out this. Take a sip. You know what I should do after that? I should switch this back on. That's fine. Right. Let's uh, try it. Uh, let's try it. 58% better than even? Yeah. Ice groans and howls under the strain of your giant Gvalsund multi-tool until the lid cracks open. Darkness lies inside, but you can finally make out an object intri intricate and foreign, left there for a sub-zero beauty sleep. A filament memory of the words off-site copy written on its side. I'll take it. You gently lift the cube from its frosty bedding, careful not to damage it. Yes, but aren't you curious to know what's on the precious filament? There's a radio computer upstairs. Nope. Don't care. Well, I mean, I do care, but not this second. Now we have the filament. That's what's important. Uh, I should check uh, the... I should check our bag to have a see whether there's anything else on it. It's snowing. Okay. Uh, Off-site copy. The cube, like crisscross of filaments, feels oddly fragile in your hands. Its intricate structure still cold to the touch. Silver tape on the side reads... Off-site copy, note, this filament contains information that can be read using a radio computer. Okay. That's fine. Head in here. I really want to get upstairs as well, but... I mean, I'm guessing that's going to happen at some point. It's definitely there to taunt you. It's like, hey, wouldn't you like to go upstairs? Wouldn't you like to know what this is? Do I know who these people are yet? Probably not. Let's just try it. Yeah, who are you? Again. I can't believe this shit. No, okay. You? Yes, what is it? Are you with him? Pointing at the man with the sunglasses. Of course I'm with him. Why, why'd you ask? Um. You look cute together. And you look like you don't bathe on principle. The man with sunglasses interjects. Please. Uh, he, she looks to you, then him, then you again. Let's not turn this into another exchange, okay? Okay, goodbye. Hey, Garte. Can I help you? Uh, I found this new bird for the whirling. I forgot we got that. What? What is this thing? The man takes the stuffed bird. Um, well, this is the rough grouse. It symbolizes the might of male courtship rituals. May it serve as a reminder to keep an eye on the cock carousellaris. <laughs> yeah, let's try it again. Cool, okay. He inspects the bird. I was really hoping not to think about the cock carousel any longer because it made me feel like shit, but this is a competent piece of taxidermy. I can fix it to the plaque and I have a new bird in the establishment, I guess. He hesitates. So, I don't know. Thank you. I'm going to go with thank you. Uh, people just don't know how to accept gifts, especially taxidermy. He likes it. He likes the bird. It solves his broken bird problem. About my bill for tonight. You got the 20 real? thought I'd already paid. 
that is a problem. Yep, that is definitely what I would describe as a problem. How am I going to pay my bill for tonight? We did find a boat. We could sleep under the boat. I would like to pay my 20 real. Because I feel that the game will punish me if I don't pay my 20 real. We could sell our old pry bar. I don't know how much it's worth. Probably worth nothing. Oh, I could see if I can sell some of the junk I've got. I do have, like, literal junk. Let's see if this guy's gonna buy any of it. Uh, he does buy stuff, right? I mean, he's a pawn shop. He should. In theory. Hey, what's up? I'd like to sell some junk to you. Hello again. How can I help you? I could try my electrochemistry again. Yeah. Is Roy high? And if yes, what is he on? Feeling warm and enthralled by the movement of light while the mind continues to race forward. Lucky bastard. He's probably on uh, fire... Uh, on... Bar Poldedon. Feroldedon? It's tough to come by on the streets. Feroldedon? What's, what is that? A drug developed by the military to treat and prevent radiation sickness. It has psychedelic side effects and it makes your eyes turn yellow. Um, Sir, if you could just take off your sunglasses, I'd like to check your eyes. Why on earth? He staggers away from the glass but quickly recomposes himself. These are prescription. I can't really see without them. There's a note of indignation in his voice. Interesting. Um, well, no judgment, just curious. I probably did loads of uh, Ferholidon before I lost my memory. I've had to take it, you know, since the people's pile up. Uh, the people's pile clean up. He responds carefully. I was with the emergency relief brigade. He's taking it for mental and emotional, not physical pain these days. The people's pile? What's that? A bad idea. Some poor leftist built a particle decay generator in the hopes of bringing affordable energy to underserved communities. It malfunctioned. Radioactive waste everywhere, probably some of it in you, too. The people's pile was a, U, a type U particle decay generator that failed immediately after entering service, releasing radioactive waste into the river uh, Esperance. What is a particle decay generator? A primitive nuclear reactor, also called a pile. Why is it called the people's pile? Construction began during the commune of Revachol. The people continued to work on it after the commune failed. Uh, fell. They wanted to. Uh, they wanted a cheap source of energy for Revachol West. Needless to say, things didn't work out. Why did it fail? An emergency valve defect resulted in steam pressure blowing the turbine, taking the fuel containment vessel up in the explosion. Both the faulty design and lack of finance has contributed to the catastrophe. Alright, what was this the emergency relief brigade you were a part of? He points at the white triangle on his orange safety jacket. We were an all-volunteer force, self-organized, tried to help fire brigades contain the spill. On the patch, the gamma radiation lines crossed with a red drop of blood. I lived by the river ever since I was a small boy. The Esperance. Didn't have the heart to let it all go to shit without trying to do something to help out. There wasn't much the volunteer force could do, however. We wasted years in the river mud. Years getting sick. He looks at the spiraling light and stops. Must have been tough. Radioactive cleanup. He hesitates. Well, there, there's a reason why everyone's tried to forget any of it ever happened. Why no one's tried to repair or replace the pile. So much disappointment and early deaths, cancer mostly. And we knew it that was all coming, even as we were cleaning up as best we could. Whose fault was it that the generator failed? No one's, everyone's. He sighs and shakes his head. So much bitterness. A bunch of poor people built themselves a primitive nuclear reactor, hoping for the best. What do you think is going to happen? How did you end up running a pawn shop? The cleanup happened 15 years ago. I was young then. Later, my second aunt died, left me the shack, and extorted junk within it. So I came to Martinez. People told me, don't go there. It's a shithole. I said, people, we just had a nuclear pile meltdown. I'm going to get as far from Falberg as I can. Still in the same city, but... He shrugs. Thank you for telling me. 
He shrugs. I like theory more than story. Outward movement, not vortices. Yeah, you gotta get on those vortices, my man. Here to share your uh, fear holodon with me? You said you'd done it before, yeah? It's almost like he's worried for you. Um, I think I've tried it once and liked it. Here you go, man. It presents a very large, cap-shaped object in the palm of his hand. Very odd looking. Thanks, man. Of course. Well, now I have that. Uh, do you know anything about the traffic menace on the loose? Traffic, I'm sorry, officer, but I don't drive. Wait, why don't you drive? I just don't like it very much. Movement on the road never really gelled well with the movement of my thoughts. But didn't you hear it when the traffic menace drove over your roof? Now that I think about it, I remember hearing a thunderous noise the other night. Some kind of powerful electric vortex in the shop and then moving on. You have, does that mean you don't have any idea who the driver was? He shakes his head slowly. Well, that's good. Uh, I'd like to sell some stuff. Sure, let me take a look. Um, I'll check my pockets. Yeah, yeah. So what do I want to sell? Um, the banged up fuel container? Definitely seems like a good choice. The postcard. Well, I can sell that for free. Not selling that. Used to be a tape. This was the one we destroyed in a fit of rage. I think I need to sell the banged up fuel container. Yeah. Let's sell that. I actually don't have enough money. <laughs> oh no. What else have I got to sell? I don't... I guess I could sell the cassette case. That's the best. Yeah. Sold. Done. That wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to just close it. Done. See ya. Right. Time to leave here. We can go pay Gar see, and uh, well then I guess we can turn in for the night. If I'd known that it was going to just say like, oh, end of day with Kim, I would have, uh, well, I maybe would have done other stuff and then done the uh, party, but that's fine. Live and learn, live and learn. Um, I guess, yeah, it kind of makes sense in a way, but I don't know. Anyway. Let's head up this way. Oh, wait. Hey, I want to pay my bill. Hey, is there something you needed? Well, well. Bringing him the new bird seemed to make a difference in his attitude. About my bill for tonight? Got the 20 real? Yeah. Good, so you got the room for the night. But remember, you'll need another 20 real tomorrow. How could anyone forget, asshole? Right. Uh, time to go to bed. And yet, yeah, um, Kim isn't here, so we can't even try and get another uh, evening conversation. We're just done. You in? I'm going to punch the door. Nope. Nobody's in. Well, that's fine. Uh, well, I guess we're done for the day. Could try the mirror. Let's see what our chances on the mirror are. Okay, impossible electrochemical one, 3%, or challenging interfacing one, tool not in hand. Use your chain cutters to fix the faucet. Well, let me at least equip the, ta the, the chain cutters. Oh, we got a uh, fur holodon. Plus one psych, minus one health. Uh, a pretty little puck-shaped cap of purple liquid that can bring on anything from hot flashes to military-grade psychosis. With sufficient tolerance, however, it can be... It can make any weather feel balmy, if only for a while. Okay, chain cutters. Let's equip those. In that slot. Let's try this. 72%. Let's go. The faucet is terribly mangled, but you just might be able to twist its parts into place. You handle the chain cutters deftly, applying just enough pressure. The faucet regains a recognizable shape. The steam stops. Told you that you needed those chain cutters. Everything is connected. Everything has a purpose. The mirror begins to clear slowly without you having to wipe it. Mm, well, we need more electrochemistry. Do we have anything that gives us electrochemistry in our gloves? Our gloves? See, we're, we're getting there. Uh, anything else that gives us electrochemistry? Need like a little bit more. That gives us stuff, the trousers. Uh, anything else? 
No, but let's see what we got. We're about 28%. You know what? What's the worst that could happen? Let's try and stop the expression from happening. Aha! It's like something snaps in you. A nerve ending. A thought. A sadness. You're facing the mirror suddenly clean of the leer that it's distorted it for God knows how long. And just like that, it's over. The running gag that your life had become. The sad old man looks back at you. Oh, her face changed in the bottom left. Let the mirror be. Oh, well that's just... Just disappointing. Okay, well, time to sleep. Uh, no time to rest yet, apparently. Uh, it's too early for me to go to sleep. I guess it did tell us to go and read a book or something. Well, you know what? We're going to do that next time. Might go find some more, um... We'll find some more money next time as well. Uh, let me just re-equip something else, like, I don't know, this bag. And then, we're going to need better clothes. Let's just make sure we're on our right clothes. So that one's better, obviously. The hat, well, you know. That's fine, I guess. We'll put on our interfacing gloves. Perception shoes are fine, I think. The shirt, well, we're, we're minus two authority, so that doesn't seem great. Um, let's go drama shirt, definitely. Trousers, uh, well, minus composure and savoir fair, or we can have the minus savoir fair. So it's electrochemistry versus two half life. Let's take that. So half life plus two is pretty nice. Shoes, we're fine with. The tie, Inland Empire versus Drama. I'll take Drama. Uh, yeah, all oh, that seems good. Well, next time, we're going to go and explore a little bit on our own. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye.